Hello, and welcome back to Bokita, Heartfelt Reunion. I'll probably just cut out that second half in the future. We're back right where I left off, and unfortunately I just noticed that the Steam overlay doesn't work for this game with my DxTory recording software, unfortunately. Which is weird, because I'm pretty sure I tested it and it actually works. Whatever, who cares? It's weird, I don't know why it's doing this. But this means, just like in Lake Ridden and Sing, the annoyance is that I have to just write out all of the achievements that we end up getting and read them in the next episodes. I don't really know when I get achievements, if it's not explicitly clear. But I got the gate to all mystery. Complete the first monolith, allowing the light planet to reveal itself. So yeah, that's going to be a bit annoying to have to do, but oh well. And that was obviously when I did all three of the monoliths. Now. Boost. I read this last time, but let's read it again. With a build tool, aim at a structure or fragments you created and hit right click to pull yourself towards it. Hit or hold. Let's see. So if I put one like up here. Oh, up here. No, like right there. Yeah. And I right click. It's just a tiny thing. But if I hold it. No. Again, but in midair with a build tool. What? Aim at a structure or fragment you created and hit right click. So you have to just, like, rapidly click it. Okay, it's not rapidly, it's like there's a two-second cooldown or something, and then you can do it again. So I could, like, build here, drag it up, way in the sky. You go up there. And then just start clicking. And then can I build in midair as well? Yes, I can. So you can essentially just fly. Kind of want to get closer to it so I can pull myself up more rapidly. Or am I just not? No, there we go. Yeah. Thought it might have been an invisible wall. Doesn't seem like I'll gain much by doing this. This thing isn't really getting closer at all. It seemed like it was kind of close. Yeah. Doesn't seem to be anything. I mean, could I just like glide over to a random gate? Or like glide over here? Can I create stuff wherever I want to? There has to be a lot of invisible walls, or... I mean, I guess, yeah, it did say open world. Because, yeah, otherwise you can just kind of go anywhere whenever you want. Yeah, I can build from down there. And then pull myself towards it. What the hell is going on over here? Alright, let's land here. Oh my god! Am I skipping things? I have no idea. Wait, what are these? Are these, like, is this a model of the area outside? And I need to collect all of the black things to open the yin-yang door? Huh. And yeah, these symbols, I- oh! Since the planet drifted far away and its presence grew ever so faint. Since, like since something, I guess I did it in the wrong order. Old accounts tell us of a bygone age, when the dark world used to fill the sky of its ominous presence. Not with its ominous presence? Oh, it is a it is dim and dark, and yet within its within is essence. The this essence is very real, and therein lies faith. What?
So I guess it it's like this one first. And then this. And then that. But does that matter? Or is this just story? This might just be story. Oh man. And nice. You don't even have to be really close. Yeah, you can just be sort of vaguely in line with uh, something you've created. That's nice. Yeah, walking into these does nothing. Alright, setting my FPS limit to 120 might have been a bit ambitious. But it's at least staying at 60 for right now. So these are just like story tablets. Soon there will be no one left who knows how to read these words. Hallow temples will forever turn hollow. Hallow into hollow. Work is done, then forgotten. Therefore, it lasts forever. What? That doesn't really make sense or add up. And I can't place something in here. Resonating gateway. Gather 67 echoes of the dark world. I see. Whoa. So I, I click two and then it's like, no, rejected, because you don't have the echoes. In case your game is starting to slow down, you can find two buttons in the pause menu to clear either all blocks or all debris created. Okay, so that's like if you just fuck around a lot. Why can't I build? There we go. If you fuck around a lot with a big thing and then cut in various ways. And then push it all? Nah, it doesn't really seem to slow down at all. My frame rate hasn't been impacted. But now, clear debris. This will delete all the debris you have created. Sure, I don't mind. And there it's all gone. And then, clear all the blocks. Sure. And now it's actually, yeah, that did help a lot. Now it's 120 again. Alright, so I guess it does matter quite a bit. So I'll just keep that in mind. Now it's 60 again, so maybe not. I don't know. But it might be something to keep in mind. And what's up here? I am just walking around randomly, even though I probably should just go to, like, the obvious... Oh! Obvious thing. A violent one will die a violent death. This will be the essence of my teaching. Such a dire fate awaits those among us who neglected the timeless principles. Principles that our ancestors held true for so many generations. I have no idea what the fuck they're talking about and who they are and anything. So these ones are the dark fragments and I just collect them by walking into them? Collect as many such echoes of my former presence as you can find. They will prove helpful in the reunion of the two. Sorry, lady. I'm interrupting you. And yeah, I have one little blip. Okay. So that's what they are. They're not just breadcrumbs showing you the path. And I read this, right? Yeah, I did. They actually are collectibles. So I don't know if this is like the last thing, 67 fragments, or if this is just one out of many gates that all take different amounts of uh, dark fragments, whatever they were called, dark echoes, something. So like, down here, is this water or something? Can I land here? Doesn't seem to be water. There's a dark fragment. It's kind of nice that you can actually go pretty fast. 
Oh, yeah, this is not water, so never mind. And I can't build on these rocks at all. Oh, no, I can. It's just a little wonky. I guess it's distance-based or something. Can't build too far up or out of your reach. I kind of wish you could just hold down the button to just go towards your own creations. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I should bother just collecting a bunch of fragments, or if I should uh, just go where I'm supposed to. Yeah, very interesting mechanics with the whole gliding and boost jumping and then boosting to your creation thing. Seems like a pretty flexible movement system. Also, is my sensitivity even good? I didn't really question it. Let me just actually confirm. It's a little high. Let me just change this a tiny, tiny amount. Yeah, that's, that's about right. I generally shoot for about one 360 rotation across my mouse mat. There's one. This looks cool. What does this remind me of again? Like, exactly this kind of scenery was somewhere in some... I mean, it, it's probably in many things, but yeah, there's something specific I'm thinking of and I can't remember. Well, oh, overshot it. So I don't know how much of this game is just a collect-a-thon, or if this is just a very minor aspect of it. It's a little bonus thing for exploring the world. I also wonder if there's any way to tell where the things are located. I guess maybe the, the model in there, I should check that. Like if I can recognize the areas and then see that, oh yeah, I've actually collected that one. And that's right here. I didn't think we were in the same, same place. So, let's see. Can I recognize any areas here? Not really. Where was that? Where was the place I was at? Was it here? Where are the hexagons? Huh. Is this a model or is it not a model? And if it is a model, is it accurate? Because it seems like maybe it's a very rudimentary thing. Like, I want to see some kind of landmark, like these two spires. Let's look at those. And then we go up here. No other things to collect here. Uh, let's try and do... No, come on. Get up. Higher. And then... There we go. Now I can land here and just... Oh, fuck. Try and build my way out. Is that even possible? Maybe I should just go out the main door. Nope, there we go. No problem. Alright. Do I see a giant spire somewhere? A double spire. Yeah, over there. Alright, let's take a quick look, because I just want to confirm that that's actually a thing. And it's kind of too far for me to boost.
Guess I'll go collect this one as well, since I'm seeing it. Yeah, it's kind of interesting that you can't really boost above where a block is, but you can place the blocks, like, way up if you want to, and then boost up to the top. Alright, so there should be a block, or a an orb, about here. Go up, guy. Come on. I can't build up. Nope. Can't do it. There we go. That's better. So would it be here? Because if so, then yeah, it's very not accurate. Or maybe it's the other side? The way is hidden and without name. The way alone nourishes and brings everything to fulfillment. You who endured a harsh journey to visit this sanctuary, hold on to these words. Let them carry you to enlightenment. Okay. Yeah, there it is. It was very harsh. And there we go. And I can just jump out. Yeah, you do get a slight boost beyond the block itself. Very slight, though, in some situations. Yeah, it seems like it's not actually that powerful sometimes. I don't know what it is, if it's because I'm holding backwards and not forwards. I'm, like, trying to hold backwards to not go straight into the wall and just go up instead, but maybe that's not working so well. Alright, so now I've collected those two. Now let's try and sip on over. You can't boost to something that's out of range, okay? Let's sip on over to the temple again and see if I don't see those orbs now. I feel like maybe there should be a hotkey for uh, removing all blocks and debris. That could be kind of useful. Because, yeah, it's a little strange that there's no, like, timer to it or something, or... Oh, you can only have this many blocks, though that would be kind of annoying, but... Something. Like, if a block is more than five minutes old, maybe it should just despawn, and you're, like, over a hundred tiles away from it or something. I don't know. Alright, let's check it out. So here's the spire. I missed one, but yeah, this one is gone, and that one is gone. Okay, so this is a model showing you exactly where all of them are, so I guess I could just do that, like, right now, but... Maybe I should head out and check what the, like, main gate and second monolith was all about before I decide if I want to do this right now or not. Haven't really done anything today besides just screw around and find orbs and fly fly about but who who knows maybe that's the main thing this game is about yeah here is where we started so let's just go to this monolith because I don't think I can do anything else with it at this point oh we followed the distinct paths the way had outlined for each of us Travel the land for two entire seasons. As we both returned to attend the Dark Planet celebrations, it was as if we had been together all along. Who? Who? What? Are you the light and dark? Or is this someone unrelated? 
Yeah, this thing is just activated. I can't do anything with it. Is there a way to see where the, like, story tablets are located? Or is that just something you have to find on your own? Seems like they might be kind of easy to just miss. Yeah, it really doesn't go very high sometimes. I don't know why. Sometimes you can just go, like, kind of straight up, but not always. Also, wasn't there a tablet down there? Or, no, it was up here. That's the one I'm thinking of. All will come to whom keeps the... Wait, all will come to whom keeps to the one, for there lie rest and happiness and peace. Jesus. Thus our travels were given purpose. They saw the rise of many going their separate ways, coming together to all share a common path. What the hell are these sentences? I don't know if they're meant to be this way or if it's kind of just wonky. Alright, so what is this temple thing? Let's check that out quick before I end it off for today having only collected orbs and nothing else. But first, let's take a look around. There's an orb. There's an orb. And it's not like because I'm gliding that I'm not going upward as much. Like if I do it now and then let go of glide. No, that doesn't really seem to affect it. Yeah, I don't fully understand the mechanics of it quite yet. Let's leave some blocks around here. Alright, I shouldn't get sidetracked. There's a block or an orb over there. Let's just collect this one and then check that out. Oh, and yeah, I didn't even notice. You can see the, like, cooldown of the boost on the reticle there. It fills in black when you're ready again. Okay, I can't paint that in. Never mind. Wait, and that's it? There's... Nowhere to, like, go in here? I thought this was, like, an opening, a temple. Probably a level or something, but... No? Or maybe I have to go up. Oh, I, I do. I do. So I do the same? Yeah, fill the door frame. Hello? Why can I not... There we go. That was weird. And then cut it. And then push it. Um. Clean it? I guess cleaning is kind of easier. That's just an orb? No, I guess it's an orb, but you can also go in here to find something. This must be like a, a level essentially. All right, wait, the frame rate's pretty bad. Let's clear debris, clear blocks. Eh, doesn't really seem to do much. Oh yeah, now it's just a completely different area. Oh my god, the nameless. That's kind of cool. Holy shit, but are there black orbs in this area as well? I don't see any, but in, in that case it might be like 67 black orbs in uh, whatever that 
previous area was called, and then an additional amount in here with a different gate that you can go through. I have no idea, but I don't know what I'll do next time, if I'll go back up and collect more orbs, or if we'll just continue here for now and see what we can find. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!